After a quick search, I was able to locate the parade headquarters in the brand new episode of Whispers of the Luminaries Should from we, the Nicole and Scotty channel. Should we whisper for the rest of Wait. the episode? Oh my gosh, it's yeah. Whispers That's of the right. Luminaries. Yeah, right, Eric, you're so right. Or should, right. Or should, Wait, should, no, should, should Nicole, we? Should we? Should we? Nicole, should Nicole. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Whispers of the Luminaries. Uh, I'm really excited to play with you guys today. Yeah, me too. It's, um, it's a really good episode. Also, I... I I know that there may be the sounds of air conditioning in the background of our voices, and it's because our air conditioning won't shut off for whatever reason. Yeah, so uh, we're not gonna f with that because we're yeah, scared. No. If we if we do anything, <laughs> then we might not have any air conditioning for the rest of the summer. And let me just tell you right now, I do not want my ass to be in the middle of hellfire. So everyone can just <laughs> shut up and leave me alone about it, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Fantastic. Okay. We're now we're just gonna move on from that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Whispers of the Luminaries. I think we're just gonna jump in. Yeah, okay. Uh, we last left off. Uh, by going to parade headquarters, so and we're gonna investigate because go. they are sussy as hell. Hello, is Mr. Yamada in? Uh, you just missed him. He stepped out for some business. Didn't say when he'd be back. Mm, maybe he was off committing a murder! Mm. Damn it! Taichi felt a knot in his stomach. He'd been banking on speaking with Mr. Yamada today, a lead the police had yet to investigate. Where is he at? It's urgent. He's a private guy. Doesn't leave that kind of information. I could try calling for you. Well, he's a private guy, but I'm a private eye, so maybe you oh. should, you know, do some better shit, man. Bars? Please do. Bars for real. The clerk dialed and waited. No answer. Uh, looks like he's tied up, probably, literally, in <laughs> someone's basement. You're gonna have to come back another time. <laughs> I went a little bit dirtier. Yeah, uh, I know. And then I went in the other. I swerved. Uh, I swerved in the other direction. <laughs> God damn, what are you, Blackpink? Can I make an appointment? Uh, you'll have to speak to him directly in order to make an appointment. How about this? Just leave your number here and I'll ring you when he's back. Girl, you can't I'll hit have on my me. people call your people. Oh, okay, fine. Just call me as soon as possible. Thanks. Also, I have no people. I literally work for the fucking police. <laughs> you got it. Looks like this is a dead end for now. I should head back to the school. All right, I guess we're moving back to the school. Let's go. Let's fucking go. That's very suspicious. Maybe he was off committing a murder. He definitely oh, was. Miyuki. Oh. oh, you actually came. Of course, it's my job to chase down leads. Well, as you may know, I am May's friend, and I was with her before she disappeared. Poor Miyuki. Good, I've been wanting to talk with you. I want to help find May. However, I'm completely left in the dark as to what's going on. The police and teachers aren't telling us anything. No, of course not. That's because they haven't found out much. It's an ongoing investigation. They haven't. Oh no. Nope, that's part of the reason I'm out here. Now, you said you had some important information. I do, but first, let's go elsewhere. School's closing for the day. Poor Miyuki. Girlie's going through it. The whole band is like, they've got to be devastated because your band me members are your family. True. Here should do. We stopped on the sidewalk of Jintomi Upper City. Despite her calm demeanor, something on her mind was clearly bothering her. Her breathing patterns were rapid and shallow. Is she going to mention that weird comment that she got, possibly? Yeah. What did you have to tell me? There's two things. The first is about May's unusual behavior. The second is a note that I found in her bedroom. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, unusual behavior. Over the past few weeks, May seemed paranoid. She was fearful of something. I don't know what, but for some reason, she kept looking over her shoulder and avoiding quiet, empty places. It was probably because she was getting threats. That comment was probably one of many. Definitely. I wonder if there was anything going on that made her feel this way. May was acting paranoid. Perhaps this could be due to the notes that we found. Right. Uh, where are they? Death threats. There we go. Did you know that May was receiving death threats? Death threats? Why would anyone send May death threats? Have you ever received them yourself? I think once on social media, but they're not common. Hmm. These weren't digital threats, digital death threats. They were physical death threat letters found in May's locker. 
not just one, but several of them. Were they from different senders or the same person? That's a good question. Like, are we going to f- send these to forensics? Get those fingerprints? Like, I mean, we better, man. We should. That's unsettling. What kind of person would do that? May is the friendliest, most innocent girl in the world. Yeah, something does seem off. It's quite rare for a small idol group like us to receive death threats, but to receive physical letters. I wonder if she was paranoid. But still, why did she keep it a secret from us? Well, she was worried about compromising the band, obviously. Found a note in May's bedroom inside one of her books. The police either didn't see it or must have overlooked it. Hmm. Miyuki holds out a blank page with some letters and numbers on it. SKMUS5005. What? What? What's that? I have no clue what it means, though. Maybe it's a passcode for something. Possibly. Uh, bank password. What the uh, hell? Something digital, a phone, something. We're, we're, we're gonna. We what are detectives! Is... We are smart! I'm a we detective. are capable! We are truth seekers! Yeah! Since you're a detective, maybe you can figure it out. Yeah! Hmm. What is this? Some secret code? Could be a thousand possibilities, but there's no point, to, no way to pinpoint exactly what it could mean. Who wrote this? It certainly looks like May's handwriting. She May wrote, wrote it. that? Yeah, she wrote it. Probably somebody gave her some kind of a code, or she has a code to sit. Did she run away, maybe? What the And that's hell? like her. Mm, Can you That's like a, a secret bank account or something. We'll have it investigated. Sure. I have a few more questions for you. Go right ahead. May's enemies. Do you know if anyone had a grudge or a personal vendetta against May? Not that I can think of. Our school is highly competitive, so maybe there was some hidden jealousy amongst the students, but nothing that really escalated. What about any relationships she was involved in? She definitely was not seeing anyone, if that's what you're asking. As idols, we have so little time to meet new people. Right, but they're also required to keep it a secret. So maybe if she was seeing somebody, she was keeping it a secret from the other girls. Possibly. Even if we wanted to, it's very difficult to be in a relationship. There's no chance she could just be hiding it. Mr. Tonica said idols need to keep their dating life a secret. Well, maybe to him, but not to me. If May was in a relationship, I would 100% know. Hmm. Talent cultivation program. What is the Talent Cultivation Program? It's a program that Karameki Entertainment recently introduced to our school just over a year ago. Karameki Entertainment. They're our agency. They're responsible for funding funding this whole program. Hmm. Even though we haven't debuted yet, we're still getting a salary from them. Oh. You're getting a salary? Oh. Yeah. They pay for everything. Our weekly allowance, training sessions, makeup, stylus, clothes, food, water. Hmm. Huh, I didn't know trainees got paid. Damn, Sounds pretty must cool, be right? nice. God damn, I <laughs> fucking wish. No, I mean, th- there are a lot of sacrifices that go into yeah. you know, even being able to get that much. Exactly, very true, very true. Sounds pretty cool, right? The catch is, if we debut and become popular, we'll have to pay everything back to them. Oh, yeah, see. Oh, there you go. Really? Sounds more like a loan. It is, yeah. It's like uh, here in the States, you know, when uh, you sign a label contract for like six albums, they're really just loaning you money to, you know, get producers and, uh, you know, stage managers and recording time and such. You can think of it that way, but I think of it more like an investment. If we fail, they lose the money, but if we succeed, we split the profit. Yeah, but what happens if they fail and then the company loses the money? How are they going to pay it back? I'm curious who's investing in all this. Who are the owners? Well, I'm not supposed to be... Sorry, I had to burp. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to get that in the recording. I'm not supposed to reveal, be revealing inside details, but since it's important for May's safety, I'll let you in, okay? Just don't say it came from me. You have my word. The CEO is a woman named Yumi Nakamura. She's the one who provided us our contracts and the one who pays us. I think she's the main investor in the company. Then there's Jin Inoue. Honestly, I'm not sure what his role is, but I know he's some ex-idol. Hmm. Lastly is Mr. Tonica, Mr. Tonica, our teacher, but his main role is as a producer. I didn't know he was part of it. I thought he was just a teacher, but makes sense. Bling! Karameki Entertainment. Okay. Agency behind Luminaries. Owners are Yumi, Jin, and Mr. Tonica, music teacher, producer. Companies funded the training centers. Perfect. Okay, valuable information. Night of Disappearance. 
Miyuki, I need you to take me through that night. The night May disappeared. Can you walk me through what happened? That night? Miyuki's voice wavered as she began. Her normally calm and collected demeanor had partially dissolved. I kept replaying it over and over in my mind, and each time it just doesn't make sense. She bent her lower lip. I should have seen that something was wrong. May was my friend. How did I miss such obvious signs? In hindsight, it's obvious, but you couldn't have known what was about to happen. You can't blame yourself. Miyuki shook her head. As the group leader, it was my responsibility, responsibility to look after everyone, to make sure they were okay. I was so caught up in rehearsals and the debut, I didn't notice. I should have seen that she was struggling. No, you guys are all just, you know, trying to survive a very difficult industry. You're literally just doing your best and that's all we can hope for, man. Yeah. Miyuki, when you went to the river with May, what happened there? We found an injured bird and called animal control. See, that's weird still. It was too strange of an unexpected event for it to not hold some kind of significance. It's so suspicious, bro. We waited nearly an hour for them to arrive. What were you doing? Somebody was trying to hold them back because they already would have gone home yeah. if they weren't waiting for animal control to come and take care of the bird. True, true. Sitting around and talking about life and stuff. No unusual conversations or arguments? No, I don't get into arguments with May, although there was something unusual. What? When we were talking about our idol costumes on social media, she took out her phone to check. That was when I noticed the money in her bag. There was See? at least 50,000 yen in there. Bank account. That's Bro, what the code is. It's a bank That's account. That's what the code is. What the hell? That's suspicious. Why that didn't we sus. see that? I know. We. I guess we didn't get that pointed out to us in the time. Hmm. It may not seem like much, but that's a lot for her. Then when the rescue team arrived and took away the bird, we decided it was time to head home. About 40 minutes later, I got the call. May's parents, they couldn't find her and asked me where she went. I mean, maybe she felt like she had to run away? I freaked out and immediately went back to look for her. I retraced our steps. The river, the park, even our school. Everywhere I went was eerily quiet. Maybe somebody told her to run away. I see. For some reason. The police couldn't find anything either. It's like she disappeared. Exactly. One moment she's there and then... She let her words hang in the air. The weight of the truth pressing down. It's possible she got tricked into going with someone. Mm -hmm. Was made trusting? Not to the point where she'd just go off a stranger. Not with a stranger, but maybe somebody who earned her trust. So there's no chance. I'm almost 100% positive. At the very least, she'd call her parents first and tell them where she was going. What about someone close to her? Is that a possibility? Someone close to her? Like who? There's no way. You know her better than anyone else. Is there anyone she trusted that she might have went with? Apart from her family, there's only us, her friends, whom she trusts. I don't think there's anyone else. Right, because she's only friends with the girls as far as we know. And how did she disappear without a trace? Just keep an eye out for her, for anything unusual, okay? That's all the questions I have for you. Wait a minute, can I also ask you something? Sure, go ahead. I can't shake the feeling that something horrible has happened to May. Oh, God. Can you please be honest with me? What do you think happened? What are the chances that we'll be able to see her again? Oh, Miyuki. Hmm started trying to recall some survival statistics of missing people. Oy. I remember Hoshigo telling me if a missing person is found in the first 24 hours, chances are very high they're still alive, around 85%. However, if it's already been 24 hours, survival rates start to drop dramatically. That's the situation we're in right now. Uh-oh. God damn, what do we tell her? Oh, no. I don't want to hurt her feelings, but I also don't want to, like... I don't want to lie to her. her hopes up. Maybe we can just... Okay, it better not be bad if we do tell the honest truth. I don't want to. Oh. I don't know what to do. So what do you pick? Uh, I, I don't want to lie, decisions. but I don't want to stress her out. Uh, something positive. I think there's still a high chance May is alive. It's only been 24 hours, after all. We've gathered a lot of useful information today, so we're getting closer to finding her. There's no guarantees, but all we can do is hold our hopes high. Mm -hmm. That's not a lie. Bling? What bling bling? Did you find anything out? Any leads? Any any suspects? Slow down, Miyuki. We're still gathering evidence. It's still too early to conclude anything. Sorry. Anyways, thanks for going out of your way to do this. I know you're in a tough spot, but don't give up hope, okay? Thank you. I'll remain positive for her. If you remember anything, just give us a call. Have a good night. Same to you. 
Oh, and one more thing. If you need someone to investigate around the school, just ask me. It'll probably be easier for me to navigate around it than you. Okay. Should I ask her for help? Should involve other people in my work. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah that, that one. Yeah. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. Please do. Okay. All right. It's time to call it a day here. I just realized I haven't eaten today. Tai Chi! God damn! Tai Chi, the type of dude to just smoke a cigarette and drink an iced black coffee and call it a day. Yeah, for real. Guess I'll pay Starlight Sip a visit. God damn, is that a bar? Where are we going? Are we gonna going go to the get, bar? We're gonna go get ourselves a whole ass drink all of a sudden, bro. I guess so. Okay, what's Tai Chi drinking, boys? All right, whiskey meat. He strikes meat. me. It, whiskey meat? Nah, he's a fruity cocktail kind of guy. <laughs> God damn. Look around the room, but it doesn't seem like Yuki's around. Probably upstairs. I took a seat at my usual spot near the window, gazing at the city lights. Wait, who's Yuki? Good question. I don't know. Bartender? Possibly. Not many customers today. Just a few students studying, a couple on a date, and a woman working on her laptop. The ideal environment to reflect on the case. To pretend to be a hard-boiled detective. Goddamn And then boys. I go home to my cat. This city is so bleak and rough. And then it's just like he goes home to his cat named Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whiskers. As I mulled over the case, I kept coming back to the same question. Who could possibly have a grudge against May? Guys, is Tai Chi a dog or a cat guy? I think he's a cat guy, He's honestly. definitely a cat kind he's, of guy. He's got, a, he's got like a really cute little black cat. So far, we don't even have a single suspect. May seemed like a good person with no enemies. Could this just be a random kidnapping? Or are we missing a crucial clue? Hmm. It was magic. She disappeared in thin air. Hey, oh, yo, hello. what's up? Oh, you're Yuki. That's Yuki. Damn, okay. Wait, do you want to take Yuki? Or sure. do you want me? Okay. Well, if it isn't my favorite trouble magnet. Excuse me? Is he me? flirting? Good timing, Yuki. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, you got yourself a new case? What's the scoop this time? Bro, what's what? the tea, sis? What's, what's the, the tea? tea? You don't need me to tell you. It's all over the news. I'd rather not get brainwashed like you sheeple. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, bro? Me too, but can't skip it for my job, unfortunately. The gist of it is, a girl went missing on her way home from school last night. A large search party was sent out, but found nothing. A missing person? That's quite serious. I pull out my phone. You got a lot of customers here. Maybe you've seen her before. I doubt it, but let me see. Mm-hmm. Dude, I recognize her. Excuse me? She's been here a few times, actually. Wait, really? Oh, shit. I guess I shouldn't be surprised knowing how popular this place is. She's usually with her friends from school. But the- Wait, wait Scotty! I didn't click! Damn it. I didn't do that! The last time she was with some guy, he said, wait, do we have wait, a backlog? Huh? Wait, 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 I think there might be a backlog. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I swear to God, I did not click. It's that was fine, not it's me. fine, it's fine. Just click. Just... That was not me. With her friends from school, last time I saw her, she was with some guy I didn't recognize. Oh, Excuse shit. Excuse me. That's not good. When was this? Just a few weeks ago. It might have been her boy toy or something. God damn, get it, May. Yuki, you got CCT CCTV footage of this moment. Oh, shit. I do, but I don't remember the exact time it happened. I'd have to sift through weeks of footage. Well, you're going to have to, homie. Can you please find it? It's important. Well, if it's important, how can I refuse? How soon do you need it? As soon as possible. The sooner we find her, the better her odds of survival are. Right. I'll get it tonight, and hopefully I can send it to you tomorrow morning. How does that sound? That's perfect. You're a hero, Yuki. I try. No problem, but let's not celebrate too early. I don't know if this is, is the guy responsible. Well, well I got a pretty good feeling. I don't know. I don't know. That's sus as hell. True, or whether the girl is still alive. We can only cross our fingers. Mm, I'm gonna be twiddling my fingers. Oh man, that's weird. That's sus. And suddenly she comes into a ton of money. What the hell? There's a bank code. Did she join like maybe a new like group? group? Did she join that other place where the guy was missing? And, Parade? Mm, maybe. Yeah, maybe, possibly. Say's never felt more cold. Miyuki stood there watching helplessly as the world moved on, indifferent to her friend's disappearance. Oh, I know. That sucks when, like, life continues to happen after a tragedy. <sighs> she had the urge to scream at the uncaring pedestrians. May is missing, can't you see? Yeah. But no matter what she does, everything is futile. 
The only people who could make a difference were the police and detectives. If only I had the platform to open people's eyes, she thought as she pulled out her phone. Her phone was vibrating violently as if it were about to explode. Oh, shit. I've never received so much attention on social media before. At Luminaries Miyuki, sending all my love and support to May and her family. Hope she's found safe and sound soon. Hashtag find May. Hashtag Luminaries. Aww. I can't believe May from Luminaries is missing. Keeping her in my thoughts and hoping for a safe return. Bring May home. Hashtag. This news about May's experience is heartbreaking. Let's all come together and spread the word. May, wherever you are, please be safe. Pray for May. Everybody wants you back. Do you see this? There's no luminaries without you. Oh, no. Miyuki walked aimlessly, her thoughts scattered across the city lights. She began humming the tune of her Harmony Heart song in her head. The darkest nights breed the brightest stars. The songs always gave her a feeling of hope, but she knew she couldn't just wait for things to get magically better. That's going to be the title of the episode. The it's darkest nights breed the brightest stars. It's got to be, man. She had to do something for herself. Start do something herself. May all, needs all the help she can get. I'll try calling her again. No avail. The fact that her phone was off was concerning. It's hard to remain optimistic during a time like this. I'm starting to fear the worst might have happened. Oh, Miyuki. But it's unhealthy to think that way. I should be focusing on ways I can help her. What should I do? Go around asking strangers? Putting up flyers? Any effort should help, right? No. The police can't obtain any information. I certainly won't be able to. I can't take the brute force approach. I need to think of a smarter plan. Why was May acting paranoid? Was it really from the death threats? Most importantly, why didn't she tell me? A light bulb went off in her head. It may not be the most influential figure, but there was one group that helped me out before. A group that had millions of fans. Oh, she's going to the Harmony Hearts Harmony girls. Hearts. If I ask them, maybe we can rally the public to aid our search. And if we're lucky, suddenly she started feeling lightheaded. The world around her felt unsteady. Ever since May disappeared, she spent most of the night looking for her. Even the stimulants were losing effect. No, Miyuki. Girly, no, not healthy. No stimulants, go to sleep. Time to call it a day, I really need to sleep. God damn, okay, God, this what is the so hell? Sad. What the hell I'm happened? I'm so worried. Uh-oh. Cutscene? What's this? What's this? Are we getting May? Her POV? Okay, you see field, trees. Was she drugged? Is this like her blurry vision? Is this what she's seeing? What is this? What's this? This is where she used to go to feed the fish. Oh no, we're still Miyuki. She loved going here so much and never fully understood why, but apparently it was a way to take her mind off training. But now I get it. I threw some food into the water and fish immediately swarmed around. A strange mix of feelings followed up inside of me. Feelings of peace, nostalgia, calmness mixed with the jarring ice cold water. It was enough to keep you on edge, but also felt reassuring in some way. Almost like putting ice on a wound to numb the pain. I'm scared. I have I have nervousness in my tummy. Me too. This wouldn't be a bad place to dump a body, a thought suddenly crept into my mind. What? what? A deserted place at night. If I kill her now and toss her corpse into the water, very likely no one will notice it until <gasps> morning and after her body is submerged overnight. What is Whose this? Whose POV is this? Huh? It would almost feel too easy, but no, this place was too sacred for that. What are you talking Stalker, about? Stalker, maybe? I took a deep breath and let the thought pass as I threw the last remaining piece of food into the water. What the fuck? Ooh. What? Who was that? Huh? April 5th. Excuse me? What the fuck is going on, bro? What was that? Good morning. Today is not a wonderful day. The morning light crept into my room, awakening me, awakening me from my slumber. I pried my eyes open, waking up to a throbbing, pulsating ache in my temples. Tai Chi forgot. Darn it, I perhaps had one too many drinks. Last night was a total blur. I reached for my phone to check the time. God damn it, Tai Chi. Six missed messages from Yuki. Oh shit. That's right. That's right, I asked him for the footage last night. That part I can remember. 5 of 3 a.m. Footage is ready, come on over. Okay. Oh my god. Great news, he really pulled through. With some luck, he could, we can finally make a breakthrough in this case. Okay. Realizing the importance of this, I forced myself up and headed to, headed to Starlit Sip. What the hell was that cutscene? I, I don't, don't know. Who it, was speaking? It made me so anxious. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Kazuhiko. What on earth? <laughs> Kazuhiko's phone was vibrating furiously as if it was about to explode. There were thousands of notifications, but from where? My wife, probably. No, uh, probably. God damn. You know how the wife be. Happy, happy wife, wife. Happy wife. Happy, happy wife. For some reason, Luminary's account just skyrocketed in popularity overnight. He quickly called management. 
What happened? Are you seeing these numbers? Uh, for, wait, wait, you see you do the voice. Seems like the news went viral overnight. How many hearts? They reposted our message. God oh, damn! Shit. Oh, let's tell you. Indeed, this is no longer a local case. The whole world is watching now. The whole world? Indeed, more witnesses have come out of the woodwork, and we've even had some private investigators contacting us to help out. The public is now rallying behind us to find me. God damn. Wow, that's excellent news. Fingers crossed everything will be okay. She's found soon. It shouldn't interfere with the schedule. Oh, about that. I've decided not to cancel the show. We must prepare for the worst case scenario, so I say have a replacement ready, or prepare a recording with her part, or innovate. I trust you to find a solution. What a dick. What a dick. What a dick, what an asshole. Dick and the asshole. Yeah. You serious? Don't you not see these numbers? We can't afford to miss this opportunity, and canceling the show won't change May's fate. You're a bitch. You're not wrong, but we need to tread carefully. The public might perceive us as artists for running the show with them, May. As they should. We have that covered. Don't worry. We're gonna organize a charity event. Uh, we're assholes. Raise some funds for May's family and add to the search efforts. A large percentage of sales will go to finding May. We'll look like the good guys. What Why an asshole? asshole? Oh, okay, but but immediate fail on their part because the negative publicity they're gonna get for only giving a portion of the proceeds to May's family to aid the search and, and help them like pay for groceries and stuff, that's gonna piss people off because they all know the rest of it's going to the company. It's pissing me off, bro. It's pissing me the hell off. I see. I see. Icies are good. I'm, I'm gonna like... go to the gas station and get an icy. I'm gonna go get a smoothie, a slushy, a slush smoothie. You ever had a smoothie mixed with a slushy? Have you ever done what that? The hell before? are you talking about? It's right smoothie now, man. and a slushy. You mix it together, vanilla, okay, and then you cherry bomb it up. We, we might. We might. Cherry bomb. Why haven't I been a manager for them yet? Wait, no, that's a song. Never mind. I forgot which group I'm talking about. Cause he's gone. You just shut the fuck up and pay attention. I'm trying to branch out to the K-pop industry, bro. We might take a hit on the first show, but if all goes well, we'll stand and gain a significant profit on the later ones. Talk about money. I like money. You seem to have it figured out. All right, I'll figure it right out. Something on me, <laughs> but I'm still holding up. I agree. It's too soon to assume the worst. And goddamn, you're the worst. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Diabolical, if you say, if you will. Surveillance footage has been added. I carefully observe the grainy surveillance footage from Starlight Sip as I sip my coffee. Okay. It's just as Yuki said, May was indeed seeing someone. And judging by their body language, they looked close. Maybe even intimate. Uh-oh, that's not good. Just who is this man? Scary. Why doesn't anyone know about their relationship? Scary, scary, scary. He looked a bit older than her, around early 20s. Oh! Certainly not a classmate or anything, excuse me! How old is May? Somebody's not adding up, we need to identify Maysap. She's a senior, but what the fuck? I forwarded the file to the police, they'll use their network to try and ID this person. Uh-oh. If that doesn't work, they'll start to involve the public and it won't take long until this person's found. Okay. Perhaps Miyuki or someone from their school knows something? Maybe I should ask them as well. Although, this isn't enough evidence to issue an arrest or search warrant, we need to get a detailed amount of where this guy was during the night of May's disappearance. Yeah. Hopefully the police can identify him soon. Yeah, we gotta ID this guy. Step outside. Who is this man? Who? What? Was, what the hell was I'm happening? I'm scared. I'm scared. Buzz, buzz, buzz. As soon as I stepped outside, I, got a, I received a call from an unknown number. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, it's the receptionist. Hello, it's me, the receptionist from Parade HQ. Oh, good timing. I was about to drop by later today. Uh, about that. Hiroshi, he's gone. All right, is this the man? Is this the guy? Maybe. Gone. <gasps> Fuck, it has to be. If it's him? It has to be. What the hell? I only just found out this morning. Sorry, he's been off the grid since last night. Has oh, he yeah, now? how convenient. Wait. Hiroshi's gone. Oh shit. What could this mean? Is this related to May's disappearance? Oh, it absolutely. Where was he last seen? A colleague of mine saw him drive off with somebody, but they didn't know who he was or where he was going. Was it really who he, he was with or where he was going? Was Sorry. it he? Are we sure? No, 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 no. I, I misread it, Scotty. Oh. Who he was with. Or oh, oh, gotcha. Going. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Do they identify the person's age or gender? 
Unfortunately not. What the hell? Who could it be? Oh no. Oh, oh no. We can't be done with the episode. Oh my god, we are though. What's your name? Let me just see what happens here. Let me ask you something. What's your name? I can't see. Shinji. Shinji. Crank that soldier boy? Shinji, crank that soldier boy. God damn. <laughs> Have you heard anyone talk about it or their agency, Kermeki Entertainment? Perhaps Hiroshi might have said something. Hiroshi doesn't reveal much stuff going on behind the scenes, and I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty much the only one working the desk. Sorry, guys, I can't read today, apparently. Why, are you a detective or something? That's right, I'm working on the Luminaries case, and you're in deep shit. Thought so. Do you think they're connected? 100% sure. Why are you asking? Might be. Keep in touch in case something comes up, okay? Uh, yeah, will do. That didn't sound suspicious at all. What the fuck? That complicates things, and it's going to complicate things oh. further for the next episode. Oh my god, why? Why another cliffhanger? Oh, hell. Oh, if you guys are enjoying Whispers of the Luminaries as much as we are, go ahead and smash that like button. Like, I want to smash Hiroshi's face, probably. And uh, also, check out the links in our description, because we're going to get you guys in touch with uh, the entire Luminaries team, so you can follow and follow the progress of the game, play yes. the Play the prologue, prologue yourself. I can't Play talk. Play the demo yourself, man. Play the Play demo. It. We'll Play put it in the description below, and we'll catch you guys when we continue the prologue. Or if this is the prologue, or if it's just a demo, I have no idea what, what it's going to be yet at this point. I feel like it's the prologue, though. It, it, I think so. But yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Love you guys. Catch you later. Gonna go ahead and take the time to thank our lovely, lovely YouTube members. Thank you so much to Regular Mags, Sandwich Productions, Just Kells, and Fun Fox Animations. We and have a link in the description below, don't we? Yeah, I was just about to say oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, you're good. If you wanna go ahead and become a fellow traveler as well, it's only $1.99 a month for a membership. 